And we're going to move on to Paul Hollywood. He is apparently engaged to a lady 14 years younger than him. That's quite a big age gap, but for some people, it seems to be absolutely fine. I personally think they make quite a good couple. Um, And of course, it is Paul Hollywood. Um, You can perhaps see the attraction, maybe. Um, Kate, thoughts on Paul Hollywood? Um, Yeah, I don't think it's too much of a big age gap. They look really good together, so that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Daisy, 14 years, do you think it's too much? Not at all. But I think it's different for a man and a woman. Yeah. I think unpopular opinion, maybe. Mm. You know, as a woman, an older man, still attractive, silver fox, lots going for mm. them. But as a man to find an older woman, you know the pictures that we sent, I don't know if we have it, of them. Mm. Very, very yeah, you personally yeah. the older couple. Mm. But, um, that, for example, I don't quite understand that one. I think that more leads to... It's that mummy mm-hmm. issues, isn't it? Like, I understand how a man can find a younger woman more attractive, more appealing. I get that. But a younger man find, finding a much older woman very Yeah, attractive. yeah. I don't know, though. Unless they got money, I don't think I could consider it. Because I, I'd be wanting to go partying and clubbing and then they've got their walking stick and they want to go for walks and shit. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I just think it wouldn't really fit right. <laughs> Okay, I think we've got um, a picture of perhaps a slightly um, a slightly different couple who aren't so much in the spotlight, um, but there but there is obviously quite a large age gap with these guys. Do you think perhaps that is too much, Daisy? I don't get it. Each their own. I don't understand that. That, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, I do think it's too much, I do. Like taking that lady home that's probably older than your mum to your mum and dad. Yeah. It's different. Okay. Um, Kate, you seem severely unimpressed. (laughs) (laughs) I think that much of an age gap is a bit much. Um, Maybe they are really happy. Um, I personally wouldn't go for it, a gap that big in relationship. They do Um, seem very happy. I mean, what happens when they say, like, when they go out for a meal and then they say, oh, is your mum paying for the bill and stuff like that? Do you know what I mean? But it's true. It is true. It's true, though, isn't it? Like... Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess it's sort of, it depends on whether people are um, socially with it to realise that, you know, you shouldn't make assumptions. But I do hear, I do hear what you're saying. What would be the, the, the limit for you then, Kate, in terms of an age gap? Um, I've always gone for, um, I'd say between, up to about 15 to 20 years. 15 to 20. That's yeah. Yeah, that's that's that. That's that. Okay, yeah. Chloe, 15 to 20 for you too. No, I don't think it'd be 15 to 20. I don't know, unless they've got money. Um, I'm just trying to think. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, no, I don't know. Yeah. I'm 23 now, so let's say I'd go to oldest about 30, because I just feel like it just gets mm-hmm. a bit difficult. And then, yeah. Okay. Daisy, final. Um, yeah, I'll go 15 to 20. Yeah. Okay, so Chloe, you're you're looking for the for the slightly slightly old man, but not too not too old. Let's take a look at the poll now um, to see what you guys thought at home about this. Do you think ten year age gap or more matters in relationships? No, wow. Sent on the page three Daily Star Twitter. So there we go. 